What's going on YouTube? Once again, it is Nostalgia Boy, and I am back with another video of a jersey out of the Nostalgia Vault. Uh, as you can see, I have on my 1960-61 or 61-62 Lakers uh, pullover shooting shirt. I prefer, I love the old school blue, powder blue, white, the, the Lakers colors over the gold and purple. Um, so with me wearing this Lakers, you know, warm up shirt, whatever you want to call it, shooting shirt, we are going to be seeing a classic basketball jersey out of the basketball part of the Nostalgia Vault. Now, I know last week I didn't drop a video, but my little lighting setup that I have, my little stand that I have set up that gives me uh, the nice light, which to me makes my videos look a little bit more crisp when I watch them play back, broke. So I had to go and buy a new stand and a new light so that I can keep recording these videos. Uh, this jersey right here is a grail for a lot of collectors. Very hard to come by. Mitchell and Ness didn't make many of these and they're just beautiful and they're just classic. So let's get to it. <clears throat> and here you have it. You have your 19... 67, 68, Baltimore Bullets, Washington Bullets, either or, you know, before, you know, now known as the, the Wizards. Uh, this is your Earl, the Pearl Monroe, his rookie year. He did not wear the number he is known for wearing. He wore number 33, and this jersey is a uh, classic. Mitchell Ness made... Earl the Pearl Monroe, and they also made Gus Johnson uh, number 25. So if you ever get a chance to grab it, snag it, because these are very hard to come by. Very beautiful jerseys. Uh, and I've been on the hunt for this for a while, man. It took me a while, finally found it. Shout out to the vintage seller that I wound up finding it on his website. I actually went on there to look for another jersey, and boom, this bad boy was on there, man. As you can see, you have the bullets in white over orange, double stitch. 33 is double stitch. Your old school, you know, first run jock tag right there uh, on the back of the jersey. No name on back, of course, like they wore it. And uh, 33 double stitch like it is on the front of the jersey. Uh, yeah, this is just, uh, you know, for a collector, you got to have this in your collection, man. Beautiful jersey, beautiful piece. Now let's get to some of the closer details. Uh, the only thing I can say is the jersey was, you know, worn a little bit. But at the end of the day, I still had to have it in my collection. It's still beautiful. Still a showstopper, in my opinion. You know, conversation piece. Here you go. There goes the jock tag, 67, 68. As you notice, you know, one of the key things that people think, oh, it's fake. You know, there's that connecting stitch on some of the older Mitchell and S jock tags like this. Uh, the connecting stitch is actually legit. It isn't fake, so size 48. I actually had to get this tailored down because it was actually too long of a jersey back in the day. Uh, yeah, Peter's sizing was crazy. But then on the back, you have 33, beautifully, beautiful colors, beautifully stitched. It's a must have if you're gonna have this in your collection. So uh, yeah, I got this jersey and I, I got it touched up and I wore this jersey as soon as I could. You've probably seen it on my Instagram. I'm pretty sure I posted it in the Facebook group, so. There you have it. That is the jersey uh, out of the Nostalgia Vault. Your 1967-68 Baltimore Bullets Earl the Pearl Monroe jersey. So I hope you enjoyed the jersey. I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, I'm out.